Eh bien, bonjour, David Murray. <rire> Merci beaucoup. <rire>
It's just really cool to see the transformation. C'était il y a 20 ans. Comment t'expliques que 20 ans après, on en parle encore, que tout le monde soit encore là, réuni pour parler d'Harry Potter, alors que t'as sûrement des, des fans qui sont dehors, qui étaient même pas nés au moment du premier film? It's just absolutely mind blowing. Uh, <laughs> never in a million years did I think when I was 11 years old that I'm now what, 33. So, uh, <laughs> I'd have never thought that 22 years later, really for me, that I'd still be coming to things like this, going to conventions, having people stop me in the street. Uh, it's just amazing to see the Wizarding World grow with the new movies, with the play. There's also the theme parks. Uh, they have the... where we shot all the movies in London and it's just... it doesn't seem like it's ever going to end, which is amazing. <laughs> I also love that people that kind of grew up watching the movies are now passing the movies on to their kids, which is what I intend on doing with my baby. And it's just crazy to see that. We have... Yeah such a bigger fan base now than we ever did mm -hmm. while the movies were being filmed and hence why there are so many shops and things popping up <laughs> because when the movies came out all the kids didn't have money and now they've all, they've all grown up <laughs> and they have yeah so true, true. but it, it's just mind blown it's crazy et uh, si demain Warner te rappelle et te dit uh, on fait un neuvième film est-ce que t'es de la partie do you know what I'm a new father I have a 14 month old baby boy I'd love to do it, but I'm not being away from my child for that long again. Uh, it'd be great. I don't think it's going to happen in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. But uh, I actually only read something like last week or a week before that Dan said he's not going to come back for another 10 or 20 years, I believe, uh, because something to do with Star Wars, there was a 20 year break or 30 year break. <laughs> so uh, as he said, it's only been 10 years break since the last movie. So why can't he go another 10 years? So. We'll see. It'd be nice. It'd be amazing. It, w it would. I'd like to see everybody all grown up and how the characters had changed and evolved and their own families and things like that. I think Seamus marries Lavender Brown. So that'd be cool to see. Et dernière question. Uh, just one word uh, in French. Bonjour. Au revoir. Uh, merci. Eh bien, merci beaucoup. Merci, merci beaucoup. beaucoup. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. Galleons from Gringotts. So when we were filming, I think yeah. a lot of people end up going home with some of those in their pockets. Yeah. So I think I've got some of them at home knocking around somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> But like all the things that have come out now for Harry Potter has just gone mental. <laughs> like recently I bought, not this one here, but it's one of the Hogwarts Express. I found it online. It's like a lovely cast iron Hogwarts Express. Yeah. yeah. That's in my office. And Hedwig. So we have a lot of horses and recently, or not recently, like two or three years ago, we bought a stallion and we named him Hedwig <laughs> after <laughs> Hedwig Dio. Yeah. Uh, Dobby, his name is Dobby. 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 Yeah. I only read yesterday that Vladimir Putin tried to uh, sue Warner Brothers because of his likeness to Dobby. And if you actually look at him, he kind of does look like Vladimir yeah. Putin. Poor Dobby. You're much nicer. It's a bit creepy. So, yeah. <laughs> Which one is your favorite one? My favorite, uh, yeah, Tom Rider. Oh yeah, Tom Riddle. Yeah, this is mine. Bellatrix. Ah. Okay. Do you meet um, Elena? Oh yeah. Merkel? Oh yeah, many hundreds of times. She's so nice. And uh, <laughs> what is your favorite character in the uh, Harry Potter play? Uh, so he's actually not in the movie, but it was uh, Peeves. Peeves. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we originally, on the first movie, we were filming, and we had Rick Mail play Peeves, but they cut him out of the movies. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that was very sad. He's such a funny man. He <laughs> was such a funny man. So I believe <clears throat> Chris Columbus, the director, wants to re-release the first movie mm -hmm. with the character Peeves in it. Yeah. So I'd be so happy if they did that. It's like, he's yeah. literally hilarious. Apparently your wand is uh, sold out. All right. So <laughs> it's, it's not here. Yeah, I <laughs> broke my wand more times than anybody else on the Harry Potter movies. You had different ones during uh, all the... No, we had the same wand from the very first movie till the last movie. Oh. But I broke it more times than anybody. And I did it in one day because Seamus... No, Neville comes in and he has a thing called the Leg Locker Curse. Okay. And Seamus, me, I say that uh, I'll fix him. But he says, no, that's all I need. You can blow my bloody kneecaps off. So Seamus gets annoyed, bangs his wand on the table, and every time I do that, it would break. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I broke it so many times that day. And I broke it more than... So Dan, 
wrote the second highest amount. But he did it throughout all the movies. I did it in one day. So. <laughs> oh, Sean Biggerstaff. Yeah, it's done in uh, Sean yeah, Biggerstaff yeah. when yeah. here. His name is so difficult. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. yeah. Just call him Stan. <laughs> Are you friends uh, with actors from uh, Harry no, Potter? No, we all hate each other. <laughs> uh, no, I'm friends with a lot of the guys. Yeah, I see uh... Sean quite a good bit, I see Stan quite a bit. Uh, no, like we all get on. Uh, we still text each other. And, yeah, you know, try to keep up. Yeah. 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 Okay. We don't see each other very often. Just when you go to conventions or things like yeah. that, or if I'm in their country, if they're in my country, yeah. we'll try and meet up. So. Do you like or do you love France? I so love, absolutely adore mm -hmm. France, one of yeah. my favorite places. Uh, and I really like Toulouse, it's beautiful. So I got in early yesterday. Yeah. So I was able to, for once, get to go out and have a look around. Oh, do you? And I uh, walked down to the river. I checked out the capital. I checked all around these small little random side streets. Uh, everybody was very nice. I bought myself some pastries. <laughs> And I have terrible uh, French, <laughs> so they were all very nice and they helped me. And Capitol is the most beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, place. absolutely beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely beautiful.